We're back. And we're still in Luke chapter 10 because there's so much. Jesus is teaching so much prophecy in these days. The books are unsealed. They've been unsealed since 2016. He's been pouring revelation into his church. And any who have an ear are listening and learning and sticking with him in the scriptures. And so Luke chapter 10, verse 23 and 24, he says something amazing to the disciples. Okay, so if you remember, Luke 9, he sends out the 12. They represent the pre-trib raptured bride who come back to serve in their hidden bodies, serving the church. Then at mid-trib, that's the 70 he sends out in Luke chapter 10. They've come back to serve in their fancy bodies and oh my goodness, all this exciting stuff is happening and they are just so shocked and surprised and blessed and Jesus rejoices greatly. Okay, well now what's interesting in, there's a little transition in Luke chapter 10. It says here, verse 23, turning to the disciples, he said privately. Okay, so now he's talking to the raptured bride. All right, he says to them privately, blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. Because see, they just saw our children, the church, because the church that's raptured at mid-trib, in Revelation 12, 5, they are the children of the bride chamber. Okay, they're the man child. Well, so he says to his bride, your eyes are blessed because you just watched your children, the church, those you served during the first half of the tribulation, they just were raptured up, kicked out, the great dragon and his wicked angels threw them out of the heavenlies and they've taken the throne, the thrones that their father has given them, which is part of Christ's throne. So he's saying to the bride privately, your eyes are blessed, you get to see this. Now he goes on to say, verse 24, for I say to you, I say to you, pre-trib raptured bride, who's already up in heaven, who just saw the victorious church throw out the serpent from heaven. Many prophets and kings wished to see the things which you see and did not see them. So he's, Jesus was talking about the Old Testament righteous prophets and kings. They knew in part because they had even the righteous Old Testament saints who believed in Messiah they had the Holy Spirit. It's just that there was not a church, a nation where God could put his authority because they didn't want it. You know, as a nation, they never wanted to yield their authority to the Messiah. Now he goes on to say in verse 24, and to hear the things which you hear and did not hear them. We're looking at things with spiritual eyes, things that many right now before the rapture they're not seeing it in scripture. And we're hearing from the Holy Spirit things that others are not hearing from the Holy Spirit. And so what a privilege, and this is what Jesus is pointing out. Sorry, I hope this paper isn't making a lot of noise in my microphone. But this is what Jesus was pointing out back then 2000 years ago with the disciples. And he's going to be pointing that out again once we're raptured and with him in our glorified bodies. But you know, even right now, right before we go up, he's wanting us to grasp that everything he's been pouring out on the church since he has unsealed the prophetic books. And as we actually see these things, we see the three raptures, we see who the people groups are that are in them. We are starting to see what their ministry is, what they're going to be accomplishing, and how they're going to be securing what's on the Father's heart. Isn't it amazing that by, purely by faith, we're getting to see these things and hear what the Spirit is saying now? 
You know, so this is where, you know, I pray for myself and I pray for our team here and I, I pray for all of our subscribers, our community here that, Lord, I just pray that you'll continue to bless our eyes so that we can see things in the scriptures we haven't seen before. I pray, Father, that you will bless our ears, that we will have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is revealing to us now in these days before we go up. Thank you. So I don't know, I just wanted to pray that so that maybe you can remember to pray that for yourself and for your loved ones. All right. Thank you for being on this journey with us. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.